I'm going to show you the basics here of how to edit templates for either tenant move-in or tenant periodic inspection. If we go to Settings, Document Templates, you're going to see all the list of templates available on your account. Now, a few of them start with the word tenant. That name does not specifically tie it to that specific purpose. You can make that be whatever you want, but we're doing that there to make it easy for reference. What's actually controlling how it gets used is if I hit here for a new draft, you'll see right here in the body, it says expect inspection activity, inspection type, tenant move-in. That field there is what determines the actual template that shows up for tenant move-in inspections. Similarly, if we look at one of these templates for tenant periodic inspection or tenant renewal inspection, now here we have this, tenant inspection. Now a key difference between tenant move-in and tenant inspection, for tenant inspections you can have as many templates as you want and when you're inviting the tenants to do that inspection you pick from the right one you want to send them. Now if you want to make changes to this what you're going to do is actually get rid of this field here. What the system document field does is it controls things so that if we decide at Z Inspector to make updates to the default templates, we can do that. If you change that and get rid of that system field, you will not, no longer receive our updates, but you can fully customize it to be whatever you want. And you'll need, need to do that for any time you're going to make your own custom template. Now, if you want to do a lot of experimenting and a lot of modifying of the various fields, you're going to want to do some testing. And so because of that, how we've set things up with the tenant move-in app, it's a little bit more limited. So the, temp, the, the tenants don't have access to multiple versions or so forth. They're going to just see one version at a time. So if you're doing a lot of testing, what you may actually want to even do if you're doing a lot of changes is under this inspection activity one, I'm going to double click it and I'm going to get rid of the word tenant. Okay. So if I get rid of that, now hit OK, and I'm going to now write in a new word called test. So before I do that, I'm going to pull up the actual Z Inspector app. So by getting rid of the word tenant inspection, what that did for me is now when I look at my list of templates, okay, so I'm going to pick look for template and see this here, okay, and I don't see anything called tenant renewal inspection at this point in time, but if I hit publish, okay, and then on my next sync, then I can see that template down there, tenant renewal inspection test. So it's a lot easier to try out things if you're going to do a bunch of changes. Go ahead and try it out right with your Z Inspector app, okay, and so for example, if I start a tenant renewal inspection, so here is where I, I'm at, okay, and now I'm going to pause it, so I'm right back here, and you can see I've got inspection progress. Now if I go back onto the website, and let's say I happen to make another change, like, um, you know, let's say I'm just going to add in something like summary table, and now hit publish, what you'll see is a new version shows up here on the Z Inspector app. And so you can now easily test a bunch of different versions and making sure it's performing how you want it to perform. And then once you're done, then what you're going to want to do is go back to the template editor. And obviously I'm going to get rid of the word test. Okay. And I'm going to change that from inspection here to tenant inspection. Okay. So I'm going to hit publish. Hit OK and publish. And I still have this also tenant inspection test one. I'll get rid of that. All right. And so now let's watch my app again. Okay. And so when I hit, um, if I sync, sync that, the template disappears. Anything in progress will momentarily still be there. So I delete that. And now that's no longer an option for your Z Inspector app. Hopefully that makes sense. Now in the actual details of really how all these fields work, we've got different dedicated videos just for that purpose.